Hey gang, welcome back to West Houston Presents. Well, today's guests have been played together for 20 years, mixing old school jazz, rhythm and blues, funk, and modern rhythms. They've come up with a melodic and energized form of jazz that both entertains and inspires. Today, West Houston presents the fabulous sounds of True to Life.
Really nice, fellas. Really nice. <laughs> Kevin McLeod, glad to have you here. Thank you, Wes. Kevin, I'm going to ask you to introduce the rest of the fellas in the band to us. Sure. On drums, Fraser Adams. On bass, Michael Porter. On saxophone, Gunther Reeder. And on keyboards, Wayne Walker. Wow. It sounds really good. Now, uh, how long have you been guys been at it? We've been at it since about 1989, 1990, around there. Okay, and I'm mean, reading your bio. I, I know you took a little hiatus. Yes. And um, recently you got back together, or you've been back together for a while now? We've been back together on and off for a year or two, um, getting together to write new music, and eventually we realized, you know what? Some of the new music we're writing is sounding pretty good. We should get them to play as well. Yeah, so yeah, we're so getting good. out to, to gig again as well, too. Yeah. Right, exactly. Now, you, you're a um, New York City area-based band. Yes. But you're ready to go pretty much anywhere. Sure. Okay, cool. And um, how'd you all get together in the first place uh, all those years ago? All those years ago, a mutual friend introduced me to Michael and Fraser. And from the first time that the three of us played together, we knew there was just, that was just an undeniable chemistry. And then when we met Gunther, he kind of completed the group, right. and Wayne has played with us on and off over the years. Well, it sounds like you've all been at it every day, all the time. To me. <laughs> now, uh, I know that uh, you play in several different uh, styles of music, but you all, um, like, identify the sound for me. What would you call it if you had to be put in a pocket? It's, to us, it's certainly jazz, but because we grew up listening to such a wide variety of music, and we still do, that some of the tunes come out being kind of what you would think of as straight ahead traditional jazz. Okay. Other um, songs have more of an R&B or a funk influence, maybe a little bit of a rock influence. I hear kind of uh, stuff, you know, and uh, that mm. gang, that, you know, <laughs> I love that, you know, and, and also the R&B sounds like it's, right. a, you know, right in there too. Yep. I know what was the name of the first song we did there? The first song we played was called G-Man, and that's, G -Man. that's a new song that we just uh, finished writing. That's terrific. And what's the name of the next one we're doing? The next tune we're doing is one of our older tunes, and it's called Easy Street. Easy Street. Yeah. Okay, let's hear Easy Street. <laughs> <laughs>
that's tough. That sounds good, man. That sounds good. You know, remember back in the 70s, the shows like Mannix and Barnaby Jones? Yeah. Remember the soundtracks? I used to watch them and hope that they didn't come back and talk. Because, you know, they had like, I think it was Quincy Jones in a bunch they of them. They really did have great and bands. This is where I first started hearing this kind of like, you know, because uh, like when I asked you, you know, what do you think you say, jazz? Well, like every other form, jazz can be Kenny G or it can be John Coltrane. So right. you're kind of in mean, your nice own pocket here. I really like it. Now, um, you guys write most of these tunes. Yes. And how does that go? I mean, someone comes in with the idea and you flesh it out in the studio? It can work like that. Someone even can come in with a finished song and we'll arrange it. But most of the time, we just start jamming and improvising and ideas surface and then as soon as something good surfaces we recognize and say okay let's build on that what else can we do with that okay so it starts um, a lot like almost like a progression that you're playing then in other words yes like someone comes in with a new progression and you're and it doesn't even have to be that we just start playing really like, yeah someone can start a chord or a riff and everybody else just comes in and starts building on it you do know one another's playing. <laughs> That's <laughs> that really happens. good. And do you rehearse a lot? And, uh, you know. As much as we can. Okay, uh, okay. You know. good. Yeah. Excellent. And um, so your style kind of like of you guys developed kind of on its own. You mean you just yes. play, you're locked in with one another, and uh, you took it from there. Terrific. And how many songs do you have approximately in the repertoire do you carry? We've probably got about 20 or so songs nice. now, original of tunes. Songs. Yeah. So when you do a gig, do you just basically showcase your tunes, or do you like do other people's tunes to get you through the night? Or We can play like some jazz standards or okay. mix in some instrumental R&B stuff, but most of the time we try to showcase yeah. the original music. Beautiful. Yeah. And the tunes that you pick to do of other people is just a mutual admiration of the songs and you guys, yeah? Pretty much, yeah. Okay, nice, very nice. What's the name of the next tune we're doing? The next tune is called Cool Time. Cool, I'm ready for some cool time. <laughs> <laughs>
nice, man. You gotta, you gotta record some of these. I mean, it's <laughs> gotta be. If there's not a market for good music, I mean, come on. I know times are changing, but still, oh, got it. Now, are there any plans to record anything? Yes, we're actually uh, preparing to do a, a record now um, with Good. some of the new music that we've been writing. Yeah, we're looking forward to getting that, that nice. down on tape so we can get it out to people. And you would, uh, you would record that on your own and shop it around or do what people do with songs these days, get them placed in you know, ads, movies, or whatever. We could live with that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you were anybody else. <laughs> now, uh, um, the bookings, they're... Um, Done by yourself, too, right? Yeah, the band, uh, for the moment, is booking itself. Yeah. Okay. Well, you know, we're going to, of course, as we always do, post your contact information. Great. So people can get a hold of you, and they can check out your photos, your bios, your uh, sound clips, your videos. It's Everything like, about it. It's a small world. <laughs> by the way. A smorgasbord. A uh, smorgasbord. I love that. Uh, that old shot you have. Unfortunately, I don't think you're in it. Uh, uh, <laughs> the, guys, the guys are there in their shark skin suits. That's a great no, shot you have up there, right? No, yeah, oh man, that is sharp looking. It really is. So um, I want to thank you all for coming on down. I mean, it's, it just sounds so good. And uh, for us, it's something different. And uh, Anyone local that you know playing in the pocket? I mean, I guess they're still out there. Bands, you know, jazzing it up. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I think the club in the city, the club scene in the city, is like still pretty much active and alive. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah. um, could be a little more dough floating around <laughs> it, but like, for the musicians, for the musicians. And uh, what's the name of the uh, last one you're going to wrap us up with? The last one we're going to play is called Dirty Fingers. Dirty Fingers. Yeah. Thanks for having us on, by the way, oh, Wes. It's okay, anytime, buddy. I mean, I wish we've, I we've wish we had this. enough mics to talk to everybody. I'm sure everybody here has an insane background <laughs> to get to where you are. Anybody here teach uh, music, too? Yeah, or? Wayne does. Okay, yes, Wayne. Yeah. If, if anyone's looking for piano lessons, Wayne's the man. You can catch him on the information <laughs> that we post later on in the show. Um, for now, guys, we have uh, Kevin, Michael, Gunther, Wayne, and um, it's just so good, man. What can I Thank say? Thank you, Wes. Yeah. Uh, true to pleasure. life. True to life. It's the thing to look for. And uh, play us out. <laughs> All right.